Bismillah. So now we finish stage one and the stage two. Stage one was using the light loop, controlling the light loop using Simulink with Arduino. And you can find the videos, it's the same control strategy. So part two, three, four, and five, we use the Arduino in manual control using Simulink to as a the programming environment, uh, on off control, P control, PI, and PID. Now, and stage two was using the PLC and HMI. Now stage three using Arduino only. So we are using the C programming. We will learn how to do the C programming to do the same control strategies. We will see the manual control, how to write a C program to, to control them in manual mode, uh, on off control, P control, and PI. So let's start first with the loop setup. It is very similar to the circuit we used uh, in Simulink. The only difference is now I need a way to enter the value I want. Uh, in Simulink, we use the Simulink environment, if you remember the slider gain, to enter the value I want to Arduino. And now I don't have Simulink, I'm just using the Arduino. There are three ways to tell the Arduino the value I want. It's either through analog input, so connecting a, a variable resistor through another analog output, and this will be my input value, uh, and the other modes will be my set point, and this is the way I will use. The other method is using an LCD shield. So if I have an LCD shield connected to my Arduino Mega, I can enter the value through the screen. The third method is through the serial monitor. I can add a, a code to my program and enter the values I want through the serial monitor. I will use the straightforward method, uh, the, the adding the potentiometer to have the analog input to the Arduino. So my circuit will be uh, this one, uh, exactly the same sensor, the same actuator. Uh, you can check uh, the video part one to see uh, how the loop set up, how to choose this resistor. So let's go now to the code. I open the code now, and uh, the code is actually very simple. I'm just defining a, a variable for the sensor. So this pin is for the sensor, which is uh, in this case my uh, LDR. Uh, it will be uh, my, the input pin is my new resistor. This is the new value, the new pin that I will enter the value through. The actuator is the LED. I'm choosing pin 11. I'm uh, just defining a new variables PV input value. It's the new input. Since I'm using manual, there is no set point in the manual. So, but I need to enter a value, so I name it input value. And in, in next, in, in uh, on off control and the others, I have a set point. So I'll change this name back to set point. Uh, and control output uh, is the other valuable I need. Uh, I'm just defining actuator pin 11 as an output, serial begin, and the loop. It's really very easy. I'm having a variable reading the value of my sensor, the LDR. I'm having a value, the input value, to read uh, the value of the potentiometer that I will use to enter a value to, to uh, the Arduino. And my control output is very easy, is mapping the value from 0,023 to 0, 0,255. Uh, I can use a different method to do this, is just taking the input value divided by 4 and having my C out. If you are not familiar, what is this? Uh, it's, this is just because my analog input has a, a 10 bit resolution. So the value from zero to five volt in, in, in the steps are zero to 1023. My output, otherwise my pulse width modulation have only eight bit value. So zero represents zero to 55 now will represent the five volt. So if I want to go from it, it is the same, 0 to 5 volt, 0 to 5 volt, but the number of uh, steps are different because the number of bits are different, so I'm using the map uh, function. And then I will write this value, the C out to my actuator to pin 11, and I'm using the serial print and print line just to have a nice uh, serial uh, value. So I'll start the serial monitor, 
and you can see now the value in, in uh, my, my uh, the density of my LED. Now you can see my input is 177. Uh, my C out is 34, so it's almost divided by four. My PV now uh, 830 or uh, 75, it's changing. So now I will change. This is my variable. And you can see now the intensity of the light is changing. While I'm changing the value of the input, my output is also changing. If I put it to the maximum, you will see I'm getting 255 at 1023. So this is the mapping. And the value of PV, PV is the same exactly. I can't go beyond 930. And as we said in the previous video, I like the manual because I can guess the range of my set point for the next. So even if I put my my C out to zero, I'll still have a PV. It's uh, relatively large. It's uh, almost 200. And if I increase it to the maximum, I can go beyond 900. So uh, back to the manual, I will choose a set point in my mind. As we said before in the video of the manual, uh, I can either in, in manual mode, there is no set point. So let's say I want the PV to be at 600. So I'll decrease my input till I'll get some 600 at my input. 600, 500, then I will increase till I get the value I want. So the set point is in my head. I'll change the input so that I'm controlling the C out. And as you can see, really the C out is not linear, like just going from zero to eight, I'm going more than a half of, of the range. So basically this is the manual control. Next, we will deal with uh, the uh, on-off control.